Love me. 
releasing the spirit of favor. Releasing the spirit of favor. I defined favor for you the last time and I said favor can be defined as the supernatural partiality above natural rules. Supernatural partialities above natural rules. In this context, God becomes partial when it comes to your occasion or when it comes to your matter. God becomes partial towards you. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said the favor can also be defined as supernatural acceptability. Supernatural acceptability. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said what is favor? I said again that favor is defined as divine approval. Divine approval. When heavenly divinely approves you of your life, of, of your stage, of where you find yourself, no matter the circumstance that surrounds your destiny, heaven divinely approves you and tells the eternal beings that, that are in heaven that you are God's delight. In that context, the entire heavens backs you. Praise the Lord. And I'm believing God that by the close of this week, by the close of this meeting, heaven will divinely approve your works. Yeah. In that amen, come and love that I am talking to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I said favor is also known as God's hand bringing speed into the life of a man. God's hand bringing speed into the life of a man. Others would have said, you are, you are left behind. Others would describe and say, as for you, we began life together, but now we are far ahead of you. But when the hand of God comes upon you, you begin to leap in the air. You, you don't only overtake them, but you go ahead of them in life, and you begin to push for more than them all, and they begin to question, what made you get there? That is never. So I said, Amen. You will encounter God in that dimension of tonight. I said, you will encounter God in that dimension of tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I saw in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is favor? Exploring a biblical perspective of what you can expect when the spirit of favor is upon your life. When the spirit of favor is upon your life. If you don't know what the scripture says, you, you may begin to doubt some of the things God is doing around your life. But if you explore the biblical perspective and you get to understand and to know what God can do via the spirit of favor, you won't doubt God. After tonight, you won't doubt God again. I said, after this encounter, you, you won't doubt God again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will discover the difference between the conferred blessings, conferred blessings of God and the commanded blessings of God. When I'm talking about conferred blessings, I'm talking about the one you did nothing to benefit. You are just there, God put upon your life. No, I mean, it doesn't matter the name you are called. It doesn't matter who gave it to you. God just chose to bless you. Anyhow, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This very week, you will see that blessing come upon you. I say you will see that blessing come upon you. And no devil can stop you in this season. No power can stop you in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. That we have the commanded blessing. Commanded, and that goes with the word of God. The commanded blessing, blessing of God, that was promised to all who will obey Him. So that comes via the obedience to His word. That comes via the obedience to His word. So the more obedient you are to the word of God, the more His blessings come upon your life. 
But do you want to feel? I'm helping God. I'm giving you seven years. It's a lie. That's a, that's a serious deception you're working in. You don't do God any favor. If you're born again and you're in church, you do not serve a favor. Number one, you will escape hell. Number one, you will escape hell. Number two, you will receive his blessings. Number three, you will be favored by God. Number four, God will set you apart all the nations of the earth. Why? Because you have chosen to set your heart on God. Praise the Lord. These are the blessings that come alongside your service to God. Please, I want every one of us to be attentive and understand these principles. It's very, very important. If you don't become obedient to the word, you are not mandated to receive the blessing. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. See how the blessings of the blessings and favor works hand in hand. To prosper those who walk or who are willing to apply this biblical truth to their lives. You will also come to understand how the spirit of favor functions in the life of the believer. Providing a world of protection around him or her life. The spirit of favor, when it comes upon the life of an individual, this spirit provides a wide protection around your life. The more you rise, the more protected you are. The more you rise, the more secure you are. Today in life, many are insecure in life. Look at our politicians, they can do everything just to walk over their position. They don't care killing somebody to just be there. But when the spirit of favor comes upon the life of a person, you are not only blessed, but you are secure. Because it is the man of God being manifested in the life of a person. You will experience God. I said you will experience God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open the Bible to the book of First Samuel chapter number 2, the verse number 26. First Samuel chapter number 2. First Samuel 2. The verse number 26. Quicker. Are you there? The Bible says, and the child Samuel grew on. And the child Samuel grew on. And was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. And the child Samuel grew on. Grew up. Her mother taught him how to fear the Lord. He grew in the fear of the Lord. He will not steal church offering. He will steal grace on the altar. He will pick what doesn't belong to him. He was a child that grew in the fear of the Lord. God, he did not know God. Yes! The mother taught him the way to go. The mother taught him how to fear God. Somewhere. Somewhere. And the child somewhere grew up. Somewhere. Grew up and found favor. With God. And with men. One of the things I want you to understand tonight is that one thing that will, will compare the favor of God upon your life is number one, the fear of God in your life. <laughs> the fear of God in the life of a man will compare the favor of God to come upon your life. The Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Anyone that fear God carries wisdom. I told you that the wisdom is one qualification that you merit favor or that compels favor come upon you. So if you fear God, it means you are walking in wisdom. You will do things contrary to the will of God or to the will of God. You will not deceive anyone. You will not cheat anyone. You will not do things that will break the heart of God. You will not. Today, what do we see? 
gain fame and popularity. And because of that, they don't fear what is sin again. They walk on in pride, self-aggrandizement, self-importance, and the thing that I I'm looking at them and said, you are, you are still far. You are still far from the reality. Because you are walking in your own mindset. Thinking you are doing the thing that God has called you to do. Pride. Praise the Lord. A child somewhere grew on. In the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord brings favor. It brings what? It brings what? That's why from tonight you will be favored. Amen. I said that's why from tonight you will be favored. Amen. Those who rejected you, they will come back and look for you. Amen. Those who deserted you, they will come back and embrace you. Amen. Those who looked down upon you, they will come back and bow down before you. Come 
Yeah. Within here. Yeah. Open practice. And including some villages. Yeah. If I went out, I'm going ahead, I was not myself. So, oh, yeah. he really didn't come to God. He went to villages. Like, yeah. Yeah. Some boys went to him and said, I want to. In a short time, he disappeared into the tree and he died. And before he left, somebody said, He and the father ever went. The father was sitting here. And the father bathed the son. Bathed him, cooked him very well. Then he went to church with all the cooking, the father cooking. And fought his way to the top. He was only a class. He said, Can the thing the father impacted him? So he brought to church. With all the Jews, with all the things, and such a force, there was not here. And I added Bible to it and polished it. If you see a suit here today, you will know. Today, many preachers are suit They are, how do they call them? Ah, there's a name for them. Uh, is it which doctors? Hebrews. They are. He has been polished. He has used polish and polishing. You sell for you sticker and tell you when you're playing, look at this sticker. And that's the heavens. Because he is directing your attention from God to the things he has made by himself. As an occultist, God will hate him. And you follow him, God will hate him. God will hate him. He will, he will become angry with you. Because your attention has been moved from heaven to the earth and to the things man has made by his Some of you are still here. I know that got some dangerous stickers in the house. Some, some, some ungodly people on TV that what their bankers you wear on your hand. You see, you say, hey, that's what this man I like it because he's an action man. That's what they say. They say he is which arrestor. He only catches witches. And, and I like him. Amen. One person comes and says, Do you know that those guys, that, do you know that, that is a certain tree or plant? Why don't you pluck the leaf and, and put it down this way? And you will cover it. And then watch across the leaf. They watch the circle. Yes. So most of the women they do, they go to throw that leaf, dry it. Grab it and add to it, share back to it, then turn it, cook it, and then add water, and now pour it up for dinner. And I'll tell you what, yes, that is, it's called the Tenyana Gara. It is perfect to catch witches. If you use on any witch, they will confess, and when they are wrong with it on them, they talk, because the tree has got some power inside that will make a witch rise. It's no power of God. It is not about God. It is not about church. Because the church folks are stupid. They don't want to use their head.